guys and gals and all my non-binary friends. So today we're going to be talking about the sentencings of Daystar Peterson, street name Tory Lanez. Um, the leprechaun is going to jail, guys. Oh, isn't it such a great day? Um, Daystar Peterson, since the day the internet fa fa figured out that Tory Lanez was the one that shot Megan Thee Stallion, has spent every single day since harassing, belittling, demeaning, lying, and spreading lies to anyone who will listen. Um, Megan Thee Stallion. Not only that, he went out of his way to make a whole album dedicated to lying and diminishing and harassing Megan Thee Stallion. Also, Megan Pete, also known as Megan Thee Stallion. He also made a music video where he was chopping up a horse's leg because Megan Pete's street name is Megan Thee Stallion. So, again, um, pretty much alluding to more violence that he was willing to do towards Megan Pete. So many people have come out and defended him. So many people have come out and said, oh, we just need to wait for the facts. Even though we've watched from the beginning that Megan Pete did not say anything. She did not say anything. She would not tell, go on the, she did not go on the internet and say, oh yeah, that man shot me, da, da, da. She didn't do any of that. The internet came to the conclusions because everyone saw Megan Pete, Daystar Peterson and Kylie Jenner all at that party they they saw Peterson, time, Megan P at the time were hanging out a lot. Everyone knew they were hanging out a lot. Then we saw them at the party with Kylie Jenner. Next thing we know, Megan Thee Stallion is shot the same night she was at a party with Kylie Jenner, and they saw Peterson. So then people are putting two and two together, and they say, you know what? They saw Peterson, Tory Lanez shot Megan Thee Stallion, but Megan hasn't said a bitch ass thing. She didn't say a bitch ass thing. Tory Lanez didn't like the fact that he was losing in, what is it called? He was losing the court of public opinion. Everyone knew that they saw Peterson, Tory Lanez had shot Megan Thee Stallion. So what did he do? He went to blogs, he went to his Twitter, he went to the internet, and he lied to his lawyers, his publicists, he lied to everyone, and he told them that he not do, he did not do this. Every, it went from I didn't shoot her, she wasn't shot, to oh, Kelsey shot her, oh, um, I didn't shoot her, but if I did shoot her, um, it's because I have alcohol problems and have childhood trauma. Yeah, you probably do have alcohol pro uh, problems and you probably do have childhood trauma, but guess what? You don't give a, you can get 10 years worth of time to think about all of that, to try to rehabilitate yourself. I believe in restorative justice. I believe in and abolition but my abolition starts and ends with the victims and at the end of the day this is the system that we're living in this victim sat here when the police came because of the gunshot she covered herself and she covered all everyone involved and said you know what i stepped on glass i was not shot because she didn't want to tell the police mind you let's put in context that this is all happening in 2020 we're all including megan pete are all watching as black people are continuously murdered and brutalized by the police so megan pete did not want to further bring the state's brutalization onto her and the people that she was hanging out with that night so she lied and then she sat around while people speculated and came to the conclusion that Tory Lanez was the one that did it. And then she watched Tory Lanez bash her because other people were saying that he's the one that did it. So you know what she did? She stood up for herself. She stood up for herself. And it still wasn't good enough. Megan, everyone's like, oh, she shouldn't be snitching this and the third. She should have said she shouldn't snitch, but she should just sit there and watch this man bash her. When she hasn't said anything or done anything, it just does not make sense. Y'all want black women to just take any and everything that happens to them and shut their mouths and just take it. Not only black women, but to be honest, we live in a we live in a society where y'all want victims to sit there and just take it. Don't complain about their victimhood. Don't speak about their story because you were told that you can't speak about your story. You were told that you can't speak about your victimhood. So now you expect everyone to do what you were told. It's so much... It's so much. This story, this this case, this this tragedy speaks to so many issues when it comes to not just the black community, but like our society as a whole about how we expect people who have been victimized to just shut up and take it. So but speaking to the black community specifically, we are indoctrinated to be like black men are 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 just they're they're the the white man's boot is always on the black man and he's never gets relief and there's always somebody around the corner trying to take the black man down but what never gets speaking about is the, the results of somebody being constantly oppressed the results of somebody being constantly oppressed leads to that person sometimes oppressing whoever they have the power to oppress 
If I don't have any power and control over my boss, I'm going to go home and uh, beat the people at home that I do have power and control to oppress. And that has that is what has happened to some black men in our community. They have no control when it comes to the world at large, but they have control over the women, the, the, the queer people, and the children that they come in contact with. And so they're violent, not only towards men, women, queer people, and children, but they're also violent towards other men. Because they have no so much of... The world has convinced them you're the victim you're the victim you're the victim that they don't realize and i've seen this in my own personal life not just with black men but just with people in general so much of their life they're spent being the victim that they can't even understand that sometimes they are also the per perpetrator it's so nasty it's so nasty to watch this black woman be treated the way she's been treated for so for three years it has been so disheartening it's also been a litmus test for me personally about who is around me because if you out here saying tory lanes is innocent you cannot sit with me if you are out here saying i want to hear both sides you cannot sit with me because the truth is it's not a thing about you want to hear both sides because the information is there both sides have already been shown Megan Thee Stallion didn't go out of her way to tell anybody that Tory Lanez was doing anything. Tory Lanez went out of his way once he lost the court of public opinion at the beginning. Because once victims actually come out and confirm everything, that's when y'all turn on them. That's when y'all turn on them. So when Megan was being quiet, y'all were happy to speculate and pretend like y'all was going to ride for her. But as soon as she confirmed what you guys already knew, that's when y'all turned on her. But Tory Lanez watched him losing the court of public opinion. And so he said, you know what? I'm about to bash this woman because at the end of the day, I live in a misogynistic world where women are hated anyway. Black women are specifically hated. So guess what? I'm, I'm sure that I can convince everyone and their mama that I'm innocent. Hell, people are still defending R. Kelly and Bill Cosby to this day. So they can definitely defend me. And a lot of y'all fell for it. A lot of y'all fell for it because all y'all know is to defend abusers. All y'all know how to do is defend abusers. Y'all don't know how to speak up for yourselves. You don't know how to speak up on your own pain, your own victimhood. All you know how to do is silence victims and defend abusers. Tory Lanez does need help. Anybody who's out here shooting somebody because of an argument is clearly not in the right. He needs help. But unfortunately, we don't live in a world where Tory Lanez can get the help that he, he needs. And we don't live in a world where Tory Lanez felt like he, was, he could be honest. But guess what? You're going to jail, bitch. Okay? You don't want to be honest. You want to bash your victim. You're going to jail. To LeBron James, to Drake, to all the other nasty, nasty little men who went out of their way to support him, to help him. Because a lot of, uh, allegedly, Aubrey Graham was, was sponsoring a lot of the bullshit that Tory Lanez was doing. To DJ Academics, fucking Jerry the Mouse looking motherfucker. You will have your day. You will have your day. Honestly, you're already having your day because your life is so, you're so irrelevant. You're, you're, you're begging for someone to just see me, see me, see me. You lucky the Migos didn't beat your ass when they wanted to. Pathetic little shit ass nigga. To all the people who sat there and was like, uh, she ain't playing the role of victim the way I see it. So she obviously isn't one. Girl, Go stand in the corner and really think about your problem because you, I can't even, I can't, I can't. Somebody said 10 years is too long. I'd understand if she was killed. The way that people need the worst thing ever to happen for them to actually care for them. And then let's be real. You still wouldn't care. Let's keep it a beat. Everybody wants to act like hypothetically, if this was happening, if it came to this extreme, that's when I would care. No, you still wouldn't care. If you can sit here and someone tell you, I got shot and here's who did it. And you say, you know what? If you were dead, I would care. You wouldn't. You would never care. There's no world where you would care. 10 years is a long time. A decade is a long time. It is. But I don't care. I honestly don't. I honestly don't. If you watching somebody harass their victim the way that Tory Lanez, Daystar Peterson has harassed Megan Pete, Megan Thee Stallion for these past three years, I do not care. He needs a time out. I hate that the prison system that we have is so humane, inhumane, the way that no one should have to live in prisons because of the way that they are structured. No one should have to live in there. But we do need places where people can sit, take a seat and think about their actions. And Daystar Peterson needs to think about his actions. But unfortunately, we, we, we have a system where he's probably more than likely going to come out worse than he already is. 
And that's a problem for another day because at this point, the man needs to go to jail. There needs to be re repercussions for him, not only him shooting her, but then continuing to harass her for three years. Because he truly believed that patriarchy and misogyny was going to cover him. And let's be real, a lot of times in this justice system, it does. People always want to talk about uh, great victims and all this stuff. Most rapists do not see time in jail. Most people who do violent crimes, they don't go to jail for that shit. Most people who are in jail are non-violent offenders. The cops aren't stopping shit. They not. My abolition starts and ends with the victim. Megan Pete had nothing but mercy and grace for that man until he started to bel belligerently attack her. And then she said, you know what? Why am I trying to protect a person who don't even give a fuck about me? And then he set up, once he realized like, oh shit, this has really happened. He gonna sit there and say, I still care about Megan Thee No way in hell you you care about Megan P. You don't care about Megan P. You can't, it's not pop. No, people love thinking, tr trying to convince you that if someone abuses you, that they care about you. But you know what? Bell Hook said, if someone abuses you, they cannot love you. And I will extend that to, if somebody abuses you, they cannot care about you. They can't. It's not possible. But that's the kind of world we've lived in where we're indoctrinated to believe that abuse is somebody, oh, uh, people give their children whoopings and it's like, oh, it, it's hurting me as much, it, more than it's hurting you. No, it's not. No, it's not. You're making a choice. You don't know how to deal with confrontation. You don't know how to deal with uh, the, the upsetting feelings that you're you're having. Because Megan P even said, Megan Thee Stallion even said, they were in an argument. So... Tory Lanez doesn't know how to deal with confrontation, so he resorts to violence. And I'm sorry that that's the kind of world that you've lived in that it's turned you into this kind of person. I'm sorry that that's happening. But that does not excuse your actions. We've all gone through shit. People choose the kind of person they want to be. People choose how they're going to survive. And you chose the path of, I'm going to survive by anytime someone makes me uncomfortable, anytime somebody makes me upset. I'm going to choose violence. That's a choice that you've made. So now there's consequences to those actions. Do I wish the consequences were different? Do I wish the prison system was different? Do I wish the police system was different? Absolutely. But that's the way we live in. I wish Tory Lanez was different. I wish he never shot Megan Thee Stallion. So many people are like, oh, because the whole Montgomery River Brawl race war happened uh, this weekend and so Tory Lanez was supposed to be sentenced Monday it ended up he didn't end up getting sentenced until uh, Tuesday because the whole um, hearing just took so long that it ran into Tuesday and people were like oh black people are so united right now and we're about to be broken up because of this Tory Lanez situation and the reason why we're about to be broken up is because we live in a patriarchal society where people can rally around presumably cis hetero black men the black community specifically can rally around cis hetero presumably cis hetero um black men but when it comes to black women black queer people black non-binary people which is under the label of queer it's a whole nother story also black disabled people black fat people when it comes to those people, those intersections, the conversation gets really undivided because we, we're not taught to care about queer people. We're not taught to care about black women. We're not taught to care about black queer people the way we're taught to, we're indoctrinated to care about black men. And so we can all come together to be like, yes, I'm so glad that these black men, and there were some black women, but these presumably black men were able to fight off these white men because we understand racism in the black and white instance of a black man being oppressed by a white man but we don't understand how that affects how white supremacy also affects black men's tendency to abuse black women black queer folks not just black men we don't understand that white supremacy makes the black community also abuse black queer folks and black women and black children black disabled people black fat people we don't understand that because we don't see those intersections we're not indoctrinated to see the the um the effects of white supremacy in that way but it's so real Tory Lanez truly believed 
that the blogs and the shade room had enough power to shield him from the criminal justice system. You made a gamble and you lost. And 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 he and to a certain extent, so many people were willing to do it. LeBron James over here eating his meat, talking about he just makes bangers. Stop. Stop the cap. Drake over here throwing shots at Megan Thee Stallion like she did something. Literally making light of her shooting. It's 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 just really just been sad. Like these past three years have best just been sad. And I wish nothing but the best for Megan P. Cause I, and I keep saying Daystar Peterson and Megan P because I want us to not just see these people as celebrities. These are actual people. Megan P lost her mother. She lost her grandmother. Her father's been dead for years. She doesn't have siblings. That's a real person. Daystar Peterson is a real person and he chose violence because he doesn't know how to deal with being uncomfortable. He doesn't know how to deal with confrontation so he chose violence. That is real. And I have empathy for all of that. But that doesn't give you a, a pass. It doesn't give you a pass. We can all cry about why we're victims in some way or form, but that doesn't give me a pass to just go out and shoot people. It doesn't. Period, point blank. So I wish nothing but the best for Megan Pete. Um, all the people who sat on the internet and kikied and, and just are to this day still think that this woman is lying when she did not go out of her way to tell when she did not go out of her way to say anything about uh, Tory Lanez until he started lying on her. To the dummies who don't realize that Megan Pete is not the one that's taking Tory to jail. Oh, Megan, Megan is going... The state of California is the one that charged Daystar Peterson, apparently. According to the state of California, he shouldn't have had the gun. That He shouldn't have shot that lady. That According to the state of California. So take it up with them. Stop bringing Megan Pete up in your bullshit. If you're really upset about... Tor Daystar Peterson going to jail, take it up with the state of California because they're the ones that decided to charge him. They're the ones that decided he needed 10 years. So take it up with them. All right. If you stay to the end of the video, thank you so much. I've recorded this one three times because it's such a touchy subject. It's so, it, it has a lot of moving pieces. So um, like I said, if you stay to the end of the video, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Guys, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Wash your hands. Wash your face. Wear a mask. Wash your ass. And believe victims. You know, I think that's the the my main thing throughout the, all of this. Believe victims. Because the reason why you don't care about victims is because when you were a victim, nobody cared about you. All right. Bye.